Well, what a better time to do my review, well, I guess it's, it's a semi-review of my in-step, in-step safari double jogging stroller. My kids just both climbed in there all by themselves. My daughter, in the sports pajamas, is two and a half. Uh, well, actually, she's almost three. She'll be three in May. She is about 40 pounds, and she's a little over three feet tall. My son is 14 months, 22 pounds, high, and 31, 32 inches tall. It comes with a five-point harness. Come here, baby. Come here. Hold on just a second. Five-point harness on both seats. Individual child, um... Child trays that you push this button and they swivel out just like that. Move your wash your hands and then they just. All they, all they in. Snap, no, stay that one. And then they just snap back in. Each have their own cup holder. She's gonna. Are you gonna get out? She's gonna get out now. Um, swivel wheel, swivel front wheel that you can also lock into place. There we go. Quick release. So you can take it off. Uh, quick release um, removable back wheels. Uh, Naomi, stop. Dual foot brakes. Jogging strap that you hold on to. Uh, let me see. Parent tray. Now, my only complaint with the parent tray is this is very, very shallow. Very shallow. It, and it's not very big. Um, it doesn't even hold an iPod. So if you have the iPhone, I'm not sure how that would work. I guess you would have to just set it in one of these cup holders. Um, one of my favorite features of this, besides the swivel wheel, is... Oh, I saw it taking the warranty tag off is the canopies are individual and totally adjustable to where, you know, whatever you want covered. There's a little window. <coughs> I was looking all over for a review of this. Push it just a minute. And I couldn't find one, so I thought I would. And it's, it's fairly easy to push. Oh, I have the brakes on. <laughs> it's super easy to push. I'm going to do it one-handed. Right now, you know, only my daughter's in it, but here we go. Turns. Very easy. Very easy. You want this up? And they're, they're both... Oh. No, totally. Individual. I love that. Um, there's like a net back there. They do fully recline. Both both seats fully recline by pulling up on that. There we go. To recline so you can put, you know, a new baby in it. Well I don't know if I'd put a tiny, tiny baby in there, but it does lay down pretty far. There's the again the five point harness. I don't know why my camera went all blurry. Um, no. You saw how I had to adjust it to to lay it down. You pull this up. There, I'll lock it. You, sorry. You pull this lever up. And then, why am I going fuzzy? And then to set it back up, you just unlock that little clip and pull up. Tags in the way. Pull up does come with a basket. I haven't put anything in there yet. Um, I'm guessing this little divider is going to be a pain in the butt. So you basically have two small baskets instead of one big basket. I'm not sure why on mine my handle is facing this way and on the picture in the instruction book it's facing up. But it came that way. We didn't put it together that way. <laughs> and my one year old just climbed in there all by himself. Excuse my messy house with my toys all over the place. And my cloth diaper laundry. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah.
Oh, you're going to go under it? All done? You went down? Um, I did jog with this stroller yesterday. It takes some getting used to jogging with a jogging stroller if you've never done it before. I had never done it before. Good job! And, yeah. They loved it. Yeah, that's why there's a harness on there, babe, so you can't do that. <laughs> go in and out. They love it. <coughs> so, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Well, what a better time to do my review. Well, I guess it's, it's a semi-review of my in-step in -step safari double jogging stroller. My kids just both climbed in there all by themselves. My daughter in the sports pajamas is two and a half. Uh, well, actually, she's almost three. She'll be three in May. She is about 40 pounds, and she's a little over three feet tall. My son, 